This seems like an easy choice to us here. What is wrong with these people? Morning Joe have acknowledged the fact that X is the media now. Here, we've already seen them taking a little trip to Mar-a-Lago in an attempt to cozy up and readjust, playing golf with a man that they were calling Hitler just a matter of moments ago. Now they're acknowledging that X is the media. X gone, give it to you. As we used to say when I was a young man. One in five adults regularly get their news from influencers on social media. The number is even higher among younger Americans, with almost 40% under the age of 30 getting their news from those sources. According to the Pew Research Center, the social media site X remains the most widely accessed platform, followed by Instagram and YouTube. I mean, that comes obviously for, for political news. And Mike, that's the challenge. You grew up in a newsroom like Gene grew up in a newsroom. I mean, that's a lot of challenge. That's a challenge for a lot of mainstream media sources is do they make themselves relevant again to hear 20 percent of adults who actually get influencers on social media? Make Morning Joe relevant again. I don't know maybe, how they... Maybe somebody who makes baskets, and while they're making baskets, they look up and say, vote for candidate X. I don't know how they make themselves... How we make ourselves relevant again, because we can't compete with 20-second snippets on an iPhone walking up... The Morsels. I can't compete with a snippet. I can't compete with people telling the truth. I can't compete with people not amplifying the message of the government and globalist corporatists and pretending it's news. I can't compete with a snippet. Getting, getting your entire news digest of the day in less than a minute on yeah. your phone as you're walking under the crowd with coffee in one hand and your phone in the other. That's not what social media is. Did you see Joe Rogan and Donald Trump? It's like three and a half hours. It's not, oh, it's just, it's just a snippet, a three and a half hour snippet where a person is forced to prove that they're a human being and talk about a variety of subjects without doing weird body movements and seeming like a drunk ant. I don't know how we catch up to that. Yeah, so Gene Robinson, uh, do you agree with Mike? Because I find this hard to believe. Well, yeah, if anyone uses snippets, it's the legacy media. What about them snippets where they try to make it look like Kamala had said pro-Muslim stuff to one audience, pro-Judaic stuff to another audience in order to navigate the tricky territory of ongoing conflict in the Middle East. If anyone's using snippets, it's them. That younger voters would be more interested in getting a tw an entertaining 20 news, 20 second news snippet than watching a cable news show for four hours from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. It's snippets. The problem is snippets is these kids. They only like snippets. We're getting them gold over here on Morning Joe. Did you not see me interviewing Anthony Fauci where I had to stop myself filating the guy halfway through it? Have you not seen me claiming that Joe Biden is as sharp as a tech? Why do these kids want snippets? <laughs> this seems like an easy choice to us here. What is wrong with these people? I, I, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, uh, if, if I knew the answer, uh, you know, I would implement it immediately. Right. And and, yeah. uh, and and reverse this. But we have to compete. I mean, the answer is uh, we don't know how to compete with these uh, social media basket making influencers or whatever but that's what they're doing they're making baskets over there they're still making the same mistake they were making prior to the election instead of being open-hearted they are condemning their opponents as idiots they are condemning social media they're trying to bring down and shut down independent media contributors i have deep personal experience of this that if you are outspoken in a way that is truly detrimental to the interests of the establishment what you will find is that the establishment will come for you in a variety of ways and now with it being proven that independent media is more effective than than their old school centralized corporately funded big pharma supporting generals from the military industrial complex advocating for war platforming they're trying to bring that down like did you see the other day that like 
Lex Friedman's done a couple of hours long advert um, commercial, no, interview with Javier Millier. What are they going to call that? That's a snippet. That's a three hour snippet. These snippets are ruining everything. And, but we have to. And, and so we've got to figure out ways to do it. And, and maybe, um, maybe we make our own 20 second snippets uh, and, and we, we yeah. meet viewers where they are. We mm -hmm. meet news consumers where they are. You know, why don't we have an honest conversation on Morning Joe itself where we say, you know, well, X is the news now. And like, how do we remain relevant? That's this conversation we're having now behind the scenes should be the show. Us having a meltdown behind the scenes could be Morning Joe. We can tell them what we're feeling. We can tell them that we're having to go to Mar-a-Lago now to bend the knee to Donald Trump in an attempt to remain relevant. And what we'll do mostly is we will blame snippets. It's snippets have done this to us. Make America snippets. Because they're not here. Uh, no. And that's the problem. Oh, man. It's extraordinary to watch them panicking. Lots of people uh, are trying to fight back against X by simply not going on it. Don Lemon has departed, but... I didn't know Don Lemon was even on X. He only goes on to X to tell you that he's leaving it. I'm only in here to tell you that I'm coming away from here. Lon, you hate X, and Don Lemon said, I'm leaving X. There's, oh, yeah. there's no good discussions to be had here. <laughs> it's not like John Lennon leaving the Beatles, is it? It's like, I don't know or care where Don Lemon is. Yeah, it's <laughs> fucking boohoo. Oh, like you don't like criticism. Babies. You don't like criticism. If you want to get into this game, okay, you want to get into the the online game. <laughs> the online game's different, and in the online game, you, you get judged by who you fucking actually are, dude. It's not about your producers and your teleprompter. And shut up. No, you're on your own. Shut up. And if people think you're stupid, you're gonna hear it. And it might be because you're stupid. <laughs> it might be. Look, people say a lot of people are stupid that are not stupid. I've seen people say brilliant people. I've seen people say Elon Musk is stupid. I have seen that. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen there's you're gonna it's get ridiculous. it. No matter what, you're gonna get it. Everyone's gonna get it. But if everybody's saying you're stupid, mm. maybe. Mm. You might be stupid. You might be stupid. You might have been protected from that stupid by these network shows. If you want to exist online and you don't like criticism on, on Twitter or you think there's disinformation on Twitter, community notes on Twitter is the greatest fucking thing that's ever been created. Because people get to look through the community notes and find out, oh, that is bullshit and here's why it's bullshit. Or, right. oh, that actually is true. Even though it sounds crazy and people are protesting, it's actually true. That's fun. That's good. That's, yeah. We learned something. If you can't handle that, well, you can go wherever. Where do you go now? Where do you go? Where do you go? Threads? <laughs> What? <laughs> people go to threat, Nobody goes to threads. But they were for a while. Are you crazy? Well, they Seriously? were for a while. Yeah. It's not going to work, I don't think. No. Threads. I'm going to threads. Threads is where you'll find me. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see more uncensored content where free speech can flourish, join our live stream. Click the link right here to watch the next video if you want to, or become a member of a growing movement. Download the Rumble app and you'll be informed every time we make a new piece of content. Stay free.